Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing my plan with me for the month of June. And as you can probably tell, it's going to be kind of a watermelon, probably lemon, strawberry, cherry theme. <laughs> when I think summer, I think of fruits and the, you know, I just, I love fruit. I love watermelon and strawberries and cherries and all those good stuff. So I thought it would just be cool to do a little bit of a strawberry watermelon theme. And um, you're probably wondering why I have wrapping paper. I am planning on using this in my happy planner because um, I think it's really cute. So I plan on using it as paper. Before I go into that though, I do want to just have a little bit of a chit chat. Um, and to share a couple things with you before I kind of go into the process. I had like 992 subscribers this morning. And look at what I'm at right now, guys. I am at 1,013 subscribers as of right now. Um, and this is, what time is it? 7.19 on Monday, the 31st. And... I am so excited. I'm just like, I am just so joy, jo joyful that you guys like my channel and that I get so many nice com comments from you guys. And I'm just, it's, I'm having so much fun. I just really want to just thank everybody for subscribing and sharing. And I had my first Instagram repost today. I was like, woohoo, that's so cool. Um, so I'm just really excited. And, um, I guess what I want to do first is go over, I did, I did make a new planner cover finally. Um, I think I had my last planner cover on since April. So I had it April, May. That's, that's a long time for me to have a planner cover on my planner for two whole months. So I went ahead and changed out the cover. So let me just move this out of the way so I can lay this down. So this is the new cover. And if you saw my... Um, what do I love about my space video? I did kind of give you a sneak peek of the cover. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and link it down, down below. Okay, so this is the planner cover that I made and it is the folder from the Dollar Tree. So I just cut it up to match. Um, I did do a little bit of a border. So my um, I cut my cardstock a little bit larger than it. Than the cover because I just wanted it to have a little bit of a border and I think it turned out really cute I really love this image I think it, the second I saw that it was like oh this has got to be my planner cover so I really think it's cute and it just says hello and I just I really love it so then when you open it up so I have a weekly to-do list here that I've done the process video on so if you're interested in all in seeing that go ahead and check that out on my channel I did clean my room today so I did my accomplish my goal so I am actually going to remove this um, and put it in the back because I did do that and I got to do laundry on Wednesday Ugh, I hate laundry <laughs> anyway okay so um, I happen to just happen to use the same paper as I did before let me go ahead and take it off I think it'll be easier if I show it to you off the cover okay so there's the front and this is the back and the back it just says if you're gonna be able to read it, it just says today 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 and I thought it was cute because it looks like a typewriter and then I just stuck this little I wanted to remember I want to remember these moments forever it's just a little journaling card actually, I actually think this was a cutout this was a cutout um, from a little paper pack that I bought a Tuesday morning so that was all right, so let's go ahead and start the plan with me, and I'm going to just start with my June spread and cover and go from there. The first thing I'm going to end up doing is pulling out my planning calendar. I just wanted to go through the list of all of the items that I had written down for this month just to make sure that I had pulled everything, and then the, I'm going to go ahead and get the gift wrapping paper out and start cutting that up. It was a little bit flimsy, um, so I wanted to just back it up with some paper. So I just pulled out a piece of paper that I, from a six by six paper pack that I knew I would never use. Um, so then I just glued that onto that piece of paper to just 
make it a little bit more stable. And then I'm just going to trim it up here. And when I trimmed it, I did trimmed it so that certain images were on the pieces of paper. Um, so like if I wanted to grab that strawberry, I'd make sure I cut that strawberry because I have plenty of that paper. So I was able to um, kind of cut the specific images that I wanted out. So um, there's all the pieces that I cut and getting them all laid out. I didn't want to have it so it was like a lot of watermelon next to each other and things like that. So I wanted to kind of keep them separated. And then I pulled that paper, happy birthday paper out. I've got three major birthdays happening this month. Um, plus I also have my, one of my pocket pals is going to be having her birthday this month as well. And I'm gonna um, just put just signify that my son's birthday is on the 15th, my sister's is on the 18th, and my niece's is on the 30th. So it's birthday month <laughs> for us and my family. And then I needed some additional colors just to add a little bit of design element to the page. So I took that dot paper, and then I also am gonna pull some yellow paper. And those both have dots on it and the red paper that has the dots kind of matched the cherries because the cherries I'm not sure if you can see but the cherries have like a a light pink and then like a red dot on it so that it looked really cute and I wanted to accent with some yellow because I wanted to use the lemons and you could see I also laid out some of my die cuts just to kind of see where they would fit and if they would work um, I was almost not going to use the pink watermelon, but then I thought it looked good fine because I had some of that pink in that, that cart, that dotted paper. And then the pink also in that, that sweet, uh, sticker had some pink in it as well. All right. So then I just cut some of the paper to go on my side paneling. I was going to also layer it with a different, another piece of paper, but I decided not to do that, if I remember correctly, because um, I wanted to put some list, some notes on there. So I just put a shopping list on there and then um, a to-do list as well. And those are both from Michael's in their planner section. Yeah, I, I ultimately take that piece off and just put it down right onto the red. All right, and then I was trying to figure out if I wanted to back that with some design, and I do end up doing that, so I'll show you here in a minute what I do with that. So I went ahead and got the first page all glued down, and then I wanted to show you that this is what I do with the dates, because I like to have the numbers showing. So I have this little tiny circle rounder. It's a, let me look at what it is. See, it's a 0.375, um, and I have no idea where I got it. But all I do is I just take the corner and I just cut the corner off, and it works perfect. All right, so I got everything glued down, and now I'm going to decide what I want to do with that top piece where I'm going to put that lemonade sign. And I found that washi, it's kind of red but it's kind of pink and it's glittery and I thought it matched so I decided to use that and I am also going to put it at the bottom where the strawberry and cherry and lemon are but I do that a little bit later so it kind of gives it a balanced look and that washi cannot tear it's kind of hard so I had to cut it with my knife all right what's next Oh, yep, yeah, I put some washi down there at the bottom just to add a little bit more yellow. That's the washi that came from the Dollar Tree. All right, guys. Well, the next thing is a favorite on my channel. It's going to be sticker time.
I'm going to go ahead and add some enamel dots to the layout. I wanted to put a couple on that lemonade die cut, and then I just added some along the side there, and then I did like a little corner piece on that Sunday that I'm about to do it right now. There we go. <laughs> and then I am going to end up doing my currently page um, after I add a couple of functional stickers to the layout. Um, it's my son's last day of school on the 16th. Yay! And I've got a couple days off. Um, like I was saying before, I, I'm going to do the currently page here in a minute, and um, I just I did go ahead and share that with you, and I added it to this video. I had never done it before, but I wanted to try it, so I am going to be trying it. All right, so before I do that, though, I'm going to put my little game night sticker down, and then I'm going to put a little arrow just to signify it's every Tuesday, and then here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just put down washi over all of the different lines. I haven't really decorated this before or done this before, so I didn't really know what I was doing, but I just went with it. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and put some washi down here, and then in a second here, tragedy is going to strike. Watch out for it, people. Here it comes. Slow. Oh, really? Let's do that again in slow-mo. That's right. I ripped my page. <laughs> and I stood there for a second going, hmm, that's fantastic. So I just took some clear tape, sc mat scotch tape, and taped the other side. And then now it's all better, and no one can, no one can even see it. So, but yeah, <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway. It's still look at it and go, oh no, <laughs> but it's all right. You can't even tell that it's ripped. All right, so what I'm going to end up doing too, I kind of felt like I wanted to do this page because I do have so many birthdays in June that I'm like, oh, I can actually fill up the birthday spot. And I have this little journal card. I think it's from Mambi. I think it's one of the ones that came in that Mambi kit that everyone's been getting from the Tuesday morning. Um, I did find a couple. I didn't haul them just because everyone has already hauled them before, but I did find some of them. So I just went ahead and used that. And I, those little labels are from Michael's. And I just wrote down all the birthdays. And then I'm going to put that, I'm going to glue that to that little box right there. And then I just take a sticker that I have um, that my church actually gifted to me. They gave me a little care package for helping them with the Mother's Day thing um, last month. So I just put that little sticker on there where it says grateful for. And then the important dates. All important school is out on the 16th, people. Like I said before, I'm so excited about that. Driving my son to school every morning. I'm trying to get him up. It's just not fun. And he is so ready for school to be out. He's 17 and he's going to be a senior next year. And he's just ready. He's ready for school to be done. So I am very excited. So I'm just going to write the 16th on there. And then I'm going to put a little sticker that says, happy, 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 happy. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out all of the little boxes. And um, there it is. It's done. Had some trouble with a couple, but I think I filled out most all of them. So I think it turned out really cute. I think I'm kind of kind of like doing it. So I might end up continuing to do it. Um, and then I did cover my June dashboard with some paper that says June on it and there it is guys there is my June monthly spread I think it's turned out really cute stay tuned for pictures hope you enjoyed bye